What's up, you guys? This is Waldo from Rock Entry, and today we're going to talk about how to read a climb, how to read a certain boulder problem, your project. So the best thing that I can do is share with you guys my thought process on a certain climb. Let's start off with the hand gestures. This is something that you notice climbers do a lot. And I get asked here and there what exactly is happening here. And I'm going to share that with you guys. Now, I am actually visualizing myself doing the climb. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm focusing on what moves am I doing? How am I holding a certain hold? Where am I placing my feet? Body positioning, etc. So I'm trying to read the route as much as possible before I climb it. That is my goal. That is what I'm doing. That's why you see me moving my hands around because I'm trying to figure out each move on the climb. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to share with you guys my thought process as I do the hand gestures. So you get a clear idea exactly what I'm thinking. Now, in this case, I'm going to start visualizing myself from the starting hold here and work my way up. Now, let's get started on this position here. Now, it's obvious it's a two hand start hold here. And I have to think about if I want to go up first or left. So there's two holds that I can start off with. That I'm gonna have to throw to. Now another thing that I'm noticing is the footholds like where am I gonna be placing my feet. Now based on my hand gestures you can tell that I made the decision that I was going left first because of this foothold here. So now in my head I can see myself having my right hand hold here, my left hand hold here based on my hand gestures and my footwork here and here. That's where I'm at. Now, from this position, I'm already looking at the next hole that I'm going to get, which is here. And I can already tell I'm going to reach out with my right hand. As you can see, based on my hand gesture, I'm thinking left hold here, right hand here. Now, at this point, I'm looking around at the footholds. I'm looking again at the footholds and thinking, how is my body positioning going to be? Am I going to have a drop knee? Am I going to flag out? That's all happening right now. Now again, knowing that I have my left hand here, right hand here, at this point, I'm deciding to match this hold here, as you can see based on my hand gestures. Now from there, I look at the next hold and I have to make a decision again, right hand or left hand. And it's pretty obvious, a right hand. And then I decide I want to match on that hold. And then at this point, I'm looking at that pinch and again, making that hand gesture, switching to a pinch. And then from there, I'm already looking for the next hold, which is here. And I know I'm just going to throw left hand to that hold. And from there on, it's pretty straightforward. Now, next thing I do, I go up to the climb and I start feeling on the first couple of holds that I can reach. So in this case, I'm taking a look on my left hand hold and I'm just getting an idea of the grip. How am I going to grip this hold? And I start noticing that I can actually use my thumb in this position here. But I don't want to full crimp. I want to avoid full crimping. I want to keep my thumb on this position here. Now I start checking the starting hold. Now I notice this two lumps here and it seems pretty positive for my right hand and also my left hand here. Now, but at the same time, I need to figure out my body positioning. How am I going to hold this hold here? Now, at this point, it felt better to just use one side of the hold. Now, once I got to this hold, I knew right away where I was going to place my right foot. As you can see here, I'm already looking at my next foothold. And once again, that's from visualizing the climb. That's when I was doing those hand gestures. So right away, I look at the hold, I bring my right foot up, and I go to the next hold. Now let me share with you guys this move here, because this is something I did not plan out when I was visualizing the climb. Notice this, I actually released my left foot hold here and pressed against the wall so I can reach out to this hold here. And I did not plan to do that. The more you climb, 
you're gonna notice that your body's gonna adjust to a better position based on where you're at. Now, when you're reading a route, it's one thing, but when you're on the wall, it's another. So this is gonna happen, and the best thing to do is just to let it flow. Just let the body do its thing. And this is the thing, if I was in this position, and I just threw for this hold, I would have fell for sure because I'm all crunched up in this position. So the fact that I listened to my body and I just dropped the left foot, press against the wall so I can reach out to this hold, it made it so much better. I'm in a really good position now. Now that was the first attempt of the climb and it worked out pretty well. Now it could have been a lot smoother, but those are things that I work out doing this climb again. Now you guys, if you find this video useful or helpful in any way, please do hit that like button. It lets me know you're enjoying this content and find it helpful. If you haven't yet, subscribe so you can get more climbing tip videos just like this. Love you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.